going to pick up probably one of only a couple hundred at most, a Sea uh, Ray Ski Ray outboard. It's a tournament ski boat made by Sea Ray. It has a 175 fuel injected uh, two stroke. So we're going to have some fun, see if we can clean it up, get it working. And we can't show you guys the boat at the place it's at right now, but once we are uh, we're back here, or if we do indeed make the purchase and back here, we'll show you guys, so stay tuned. Well guys, it's back. As you can see, it's kind of bowly. The upholstery's not in the best shape, but if you look here, it'll clean up nice, so. Get cleaned up, fresh wax coat, Trailer's in decent condition. Gotta put new lights on it and uh, I guess we're having some uh, misfire problems or some bogging for the engine, so we'll get try to get that figured out. Yeah. But we'll get, the motor running will be in another video, but we're gonna try to. Motor we'll, will be a separate video. Yes. Motor troubleshooting is its own video. Cleanup will be probably in this video. That may be like trailer lights or trailer stuff. But yeah, guys, the lower unit didn't drag too bad. No, it didn't drag at all, thankfully. Thankfully. Uh, we got pop-up cleats. Yeah, guys, lower. We're gonna see how it goes. The Tahoe performed better than I think anyone expected. So, we'll see how it goes. it is guys that is what we're dealing with we'll get her cleaned up though. the best part about this whole process is a high five prop for those who aren't familiar it's a stainless steel high acceleration prop that gets you out of the hole when you're on a slalom it's basically a prop just for performance we're gonna go 65 miles an hour when you went quick quick speed this is what you want at the end of your the end of your lower unit. This is what you want in the water. Not no standard mercury pitch, you want a high five propeller. Well guys, I'm here to give you a little update on the boat yesterday. Uh, we had a track meet, so we had to leave a little early. Uh, in the process of uh, just kind of stripping everything out, getting it ready, but as of right now, we have all the uh, we have all the seating out, the upholstery, all the upholstery is out uh, except for this bench. This bench is uh, screwed in, so we can't take that out. Uh, and then today we're gonna vacuum out all this this morning. So thanks to online school, we can do this. So I'll be doing classes, cleaning up the boat. So stay tuned. Chilly. But we're doing work, so. Got the upholstery out. Getting ready to detail those up. We uh, pulled the boat up on a slope, so that way when we uh, hit with the washer, if any water gets in the boat, it's gonna drain out of the back instead of puddling up in the bow. That can cause problems, so. Took the step, did that, and uh, we're gonna see how bad it really is. We're gonna pressure wash, strip the old wax off, strip the mildew off, see what we're working with. And, and we'll then, do a little time lapse for you guys. Yeah, we'll do a time happen. lapse. Get the boat all polished up, and once that's done, then we start the real work, which is trailer and motor. So stay tuned for that. Well guys, as you can tell, right now we're just getting the first layer of stuff off the boat. And as you can look at the difference, it was really dirty. So we're gonna keep pressure washing it, 
uh, be really easy on the pinstriping and stuff, and then we're gonna soap it down and give her a nice clean, so stay tuned. Well guys, we got this part just the first pressure wash cleaned off. Uh, kinda, we're gonna, you know, soap it down still, but so there's your difference right there. And we'll need to buff all this white stuff out here. So there's that side. We still haven't done the back yet or the motor or this side, but there's the difference from one side to another. You can just see how grimy it was. It was the same on the other side, so. We'll, uh, we'll keep chugging away here and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, we got her all not cleaned off, but we got the gunk off, most of it. So now we're gonna soap, we're gonna let it dry, then we're gonna soap it. From that point on, we're gonna... Hand scrub. Hand scrub, and then uh, see where we get there, and then we'll wax and do all that fun stuff. But, next step's upholstery. Our, our plan is, because bleach will kill your upholstery, any bleach-based product, 409, all that jazz. It may make it look nice for a year, but it'll screw it up. So. For right now, we are going to hand scrub with Guriot's Garage Premium Grade Car Wash. Yes. So, so. See how that goes. The upholstery is in good condition. As you guys can tell by the back of these seats, these are still in like really, really, really good shape. But we, uh, we just need to get it. And then get them clean. And then we're gonna redo the teak. We might get a teak uh, ski locker cover, but that way we don't wanna go too over the top. So, wish us luck on this interior detail. Yeah. Well guys, as you can see, most of it came out, but not all of it. So, we're gonna, as you guys can see, there's still a little bit of mold mildew all that jazz still on there but uh, I got most of the stuff off which is what we're trying to go for and then we'll really clean it off here later but for right now it's a good base clean it used to look like this it used to be really nasty it used to all look like that so we're it hoping to get it all looking like that the back of that seat would be yeah. pretty cool but we'll see what we can do well guys as you can tell we got the interior cleaned up a little bit she's looking a lot better same with the upholstery, they're not completely done, but we'll see how she goes. We just put in the battery, and we're just gonna see now. Turn this battery switch on. And we're just gonna see if it trims up or not. If it does, we'll be... Good battery. Well guys, we're gonna grease some of this up get the barnacles off of it, get, scrape them off. Uh, and then we're gonna put this with new spark plugs, run some sea foam through it, make sure the injectors are clear. I hear something, And we, we just gotta do some other stuff to it. But, we'll probably end the video here with uh, the bilge? Huh? You hear it? It's been on, yeah. Let's see if we have... <laughs> Guys, that's fun. The horn works. Horn works. Uh, yeah, and so. Running lights? I'm gonna take the lights. Right They're on. Both of them. Cool. Right? We have. Uh, What's our fuel gauge say? Fuel gauge is. Um, it says empty. Empty. Who knows? Which is good. Yeah. We hope it is empty. Try this in out. Oh, what was that? Just 
another trim. It's just another trim for the motor. All right, so that's two trims. Engine work. Yeah, we're gonna start taking out spark plugs, some engine work, uh, get the engine kind of running the way we want it to, and then from there. We'll, we'll work on the trailer and stuff, but to get this engine running, the guy said it had bogging issues, so that could be ECU, could be bad injectors, spark plugs. There's a lot of testing we need to do. So, and if any of you guys have had this motor before and kind of know what the uh, the deal is, or ever had bogging down, let us know. It's a 1996 Mercury 175 two-stroke with EFI. So, no carburetors. That's a little scary for us, but we're gonna see how it works. Uh, yeah, just let us know. If you like the video, found some good information out of it, or you just like seeing old boats become clean again, not necessarily old, just dirty boats become clean again, assault the like button. Assault it, fully, just pound it. Don't forget to like and subscribe always, you know, and helps us out and we just wanna, yeah. Help us get a thousand subscribers for college because college is expensive, so. Yeah. Anyways, as always, Tight, tight lines. lines.